Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Virtue's Last Reward. Last time we went back to the past, and we talked to Akane, who gave us a key. And now we're going back to present day, or future, or... I don't know. Let's go. Oh, looks like you're awake. Is this the infirmary? Why are we here? Do you know what happened at the AB gate? Kay and I went back to the infirmary, but... We waited and waited, and the two of you never returned. So we went to the warehouse to check on you. Oh, because their consciousness left. So they were just empty husks. And they thought they must have passed out. We found you passed out in front of the AB rooms. Kay and I hurried back here with you. I looked over at Fi and met her eyes. Do you remember what happened just now? You mean what happened a long time ago? Yeah. You got him pretty good, huh? Huh. <laughs> yeah, I remember all right. <laughs> Good cork. What am I? Top liver. Alice. Back among the conscious and not psychotic, huh? Yeah, thanks. Grandpa told me what you did. Thanks for finding the medicine for us. No problem. All in a day's work. Although, wouldn't mind a little swimsuit action. Really grabbing at straws here, aren't you? Yes, he is. Hey, I wasn't talking to Quark. That was an offer for Alice. Not really my point. Oh, whatever. Forget about that. Now that you guys are awake, all we gotta do is open the number nine door. Huh? What are you talking about? Look at your bracelet. Um. It it says ten. So they kept playing the AB game while they were out. I have 10 BP! I've got 15 BP? That means I got 6 more points while I was out. But... how? You've been asleep for more than 2 hours. We've played the AB game 3 times. 3 times? Yes. Of course, the color and group assignments were shuffled around each time. But no matter who voted, everyone chose Ally. have enough to leave I was stunned how had everyone cooperated long enough to raise all of our BP past nine because yet nothing to lose there was no more like escape rooms so all you had to do was just ally every time and everything would be fine was it because akane hadn't been killed without a death to start things off maybe we'd been less suspicious of one another <clears throat> or could the bombs have had something to do with it we'd all joined forces against dio and fi and i had been able to disarm all of them all of us had banded together against a common enemy and overcome a tremendous threat perhaps that had strengthened our bond which, I had to admit, would be somewhat ironic. After all, Dio had planted the bombs that forced us all to work together against him. This must have been what Akane was talking about. Haven't I told you? Death was unavoidable. Sacrifices had to be made for the sake of the project. Come on, let's go! Let's open the door and get out of here! Wait. What about him? Just leave him here. I 
After some discussion, we decided to leave Dio behind. Good. Alice was the only holdout. She complained about wanting to take him back to her superiors. After I mentioned they'd come back to investigate after we escaped and deal with Dio then, she reluctantly complied. Alright. Let's get going. I mean, if there'll be people to come back here. Again, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Let the sum bit die. Everybody ready? I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna open it. Yes, just get on with it. Everyone else swallowed and nodded. I grabbed the lever and pulled it down. everybody let's move I didn't need to tell them twice the room inside was clearly a loading elevator it looks sort of like a large plate on top of a huge pedestal we ran to the center of the plate and turned around the number nine doors stood wide open Two, one, zero. The number nine door is closing. Beyond the door was a wide hallway that ended in a very solid wall. To the left we found a very familiar looking door. We pushed it open and went in. The pressure exchange chamber. You know what this place is? Yeah, sort of. This whole facility is pressurized, apparently. I think the idea is to keep the air outside and consequently the virus from getting inside. That means that if we want to go out, we have to decompress so that we match the outside air pressure. This room here is where you prepare for going into the actual pressure exchange room. You see all those suits along the wall? I fear we need to put on those and head to the decompression room downstairs. Whoa! Hold on a minute! You're saying the air outside is full of that horrible virus? Yeah, that's what it seems like. Of course, according to Akane, we were all already infected with Radical 6, so the whole room seemed a little pointless. Why? How did all this happen? Did 
Did they? No. That's not possible. We've come this far. We can't turn back now. Let's go outside. There's no way to know what's really going on until we do. All right. No one else objected. We all donned the protective suits and headed downstairs to the decompression room. As soon as we were all inside, the process begun. Or began, rather. Through my helmet, I could hear the soft hiss of air being sucked out of the room. We stood there for several minutes, waiting for the process to finish. At last it did, and we heard the door begin to open. Beyond, it was another decompression chamber. We repeated the process two more times before we reached the final door and opened it. The dead, blank, bleak landscape, rather, wasn't a surprise for me. I'd seen it before in another timeline. The others hadn't, however, and although I couldn't see their faces through the visors of their helmets, I heard more than a few gasps over the radio. For a few long moments, we just stood there, astonished. Where the hell are we? The desert, I guess? I figured that out. I mean, which one? I don't know, but I think I know what day it is. Look at the moon. It's red, right? That means today's the total lunar eclipse. So? Remember the astronomy magazine in the lounge? Well, the next eclipse like this was going to be on December 31st, 2028. So? Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Are you suggesting we were sleeping for a week after we were abducted? I think so. I'm beginning to think it was longer than a week. Wherever we were must have been far away from any city. The air was clearer than I'd ever seen it. And the stars, the sky was full of them. More stars than I'd ever seen in my life. I could even spot the hazy arm of the Milky Way. But the most striking feature was the moon. It was blood red and massive. Much bigger, in fact, than I remembered it being. Then as I watched, a black spot began to move across its surface. It was hard to see details, but it looked circular. The spot continued to move across the moon, heading for the night edge. But what's that? The moon. Well, the moon's shadow, actually. The moon's shadow? I frowned. It didn't make any sense. What? He said if I didn't tow the line, he wouldn't just kill me. He'd kill Quark too. And I agreed, like an idiot, and brought Quark with me. Just. just so I could see her. Such an idiot. So, that being the case, might as well start with this. I meant what I said before. What the hell are you saying? Think about it. If that's the moon's shadow, then what's it falling on? That's Earth. Oh, um, oh, what? It's a 
Oh my god. Anybody in the black spot down there is looking up at the moon covering the sun. What? No, no way. If that's the earth, then where the hell are we? The moon. The moon, of course. This is the lunar surface. We were just inside a moon base. No way. No, you've got to be lying. How do you expect us to believe that? This can't be the moon. Yeah. And that's pretty ridiculous. Besides, if this was the moon, how do you explain the gravity? She picked up a rock and dropped it. A little bit? It's even insane, but 
what Luna said made sense. In fact, it explained Fi's apparently superhuman strength quite well. In 29? Okay. No. That's insane. That would mean we were abducted more than 45 years ago. I don't blame you if you don't believe me. But it's the truth. How can you be sure? It's not that hard. Cork and I left Earth on January 23rd, 2074. Solar eclipses are easy to predict. We've known that there'd be one. What? Why? I suppose it started a few months before that. The government had a test site for a future Mars mission out in the middle of Nevada. On December 31st, 2028, there was an accident. Well, accident doesn't quite convey the right sense of the thing. And the point is, Radical Six claimed its first victims there, then escaped. Didn't take long for it to spread to the rest of the world. Like Luna explained, the virus slows your brain down. But eventually, it also makes you kill yourself. Pretty soon, bodies started to pile up. Some people would take a dive off a building or shoot themselves in the head. You know, the classics. But for some, it was poison or fire or asphyxiation or the noose. Plenty of people jumped in front of trains or cars. One pilot on a passenger airline drove his plane into the ground. Most forms of transportation ground to a halt pretty fast. That meant food couldn't get distributed, and thousands of people who weren't even infected died from starvation. Everywhere you went, there were just piles of corpses, covered in flies and rats and crows. I don't know what hell's like, but I imagine it's a lot like that. After a while, people who managed to avoid getting infected started trying to get in touch with one another. They got a hold of some radios and organized a couple meetings. There was only one thing to discuss, of course. How could they get rid of Radical Six? The answer, they decided, was purification. They figured they could just roast the surface of the earth and that it killed the virus off for good. On April 13th, 2029, they put their plan into effect. And that plan was to detonate all 18 annihilation reactors. 
That's not really a good plan. I was speechless. What could I possibly say? There was no reason for Tim Miyoji to lie to us. So we were standing on the moon, looking at the Earth. It was 2074, but why? Why were we there? Why were we then? This is very confusing. I was so lost in thought I hardly noticed Fi's approach. Hey Sigma. I think I figured something out. A window popped up on the inside of my helmet with whisper in the corner. She seemed to be using a circuit only we could hear. Yeah? What is it? I figured out why there's an extra E. An extra E? Oh, you mean the graffiti? What's Anna say this time? God damn it. <laughs> Knock it off. What happened to Whisper? Memento Mori of the Ninth Lion ate the sun. If you rearrange the letters, you get... The man on the moon rules the infinite time. See? How in the world does she work Six that out? The man on the moon rules the infinite time. Hmm. I think it's a message for us from Zero Senior and Akane. Remember what she was telling us? We created the AB project for one purpose. To transport the consciousnesses of two people into the past. Those two people are you, Sigma. And you. 
So, um, what are you getting at? Wait a minute. Are you saying you think they're going to send us back 45 years? Yeah. I'd bet on it. So the ultimate purpose of the AB project is to send us back in time to that catastrophe Tim Yoji was talking about. I think so. Oh my god. Why does Akane every time 999 we were bailing her out of the AB game, or not AB game, uh, the nonary game, like the OG one. Now we're stopping a nuclear holocaust. Well, I'm sorry, an antimatter holocaust. Like, okay. That doesn't make sense, though. I mean, we came from that same time period before it actually. So I bring us here and then send us back. Do you know where she is? I've got an idea. Come on, think. Remember what she said when she gave you the key? To free Eagle Eris. The grave! I was about to say... Because I was like, yeah, they gave us a key. The only thing I could think of was the grave that we checked way back when that had a keyhole. That was the, like, the second escape room I ever did. The Bee Garden. And I saw the keyhole. Wow. But yeah, I was like, well, we're out. So how are we going to get back in to get to it? The one in the garden. We turned and ran back in to the pressure exchange chamber. The others followed close behind. What? What are you doing? Did you forget something? We're going to go have a talk with somebody. Who? Oh. You really need me to spell it out? The person behind all this. You mean Akane? What? How, do, how does he know? Let me accompany you then. Wait. Why do you know about Akane? I'll tell you when we get there. Now, if you please. I'm coming with you. You folks just said the magic word. <laughs> I'm going to the... So am I. Hey, um, is this Akane you're talking about? What? I mean, well, of course you wouldn't. No, <laughs> you know her real well. Wait. You. Oh my. You're not. You're serious? Why did he age then and not them? What the hell is going on? I uh, shut up. Just shut up. Come if you want to. We don't need to do roll call. Once we get there, Akane can explain everything. With that, we headed back through the airlock. So it was a straight up lie then. So that is the exact same pressure exchange chamber. There's no other one. So the number nine elevator just takes you to the second floor. Ah, oh, clever. 
The number nine door on floor A is shut forever once the game ends. Assuming Zero Junior was telling the truth, of course. But the door on floor B... Yeah. Thought we might be able to take the lift to it. And it looks like I was right. Any idea where Akane might be? So technically speaking, every single ending where it was like a game over or somebody escaped, they could have just came back down, opened up the door, like, oh, hey, everybody here, be like, follow me. The, uh, okay. Yeah. The grave. You mean the grave in the garden? Yeah. Don't worry. I don't think she's buried there or anything. Chances are she's alive. Just in the grave. Anyway, let's move to the garden. The garden. Is Akane really under here? I think so. What should we do? Are we gonna dig her out? No, no, I don't think we'll have to do anything like that. See the keyhole on the grave? Uh, if I just insert this here, I pulled the key off my ankle and fitted it into the hole. It twisted to the right until I heard something unlock. With a quiet grinding, the grave began to shift. It's a treatment. What, is this? what the? <clears throat> it doesn't look like a coffin. Yeah, it's a treatment pod. Oh my god. It is, isn't it? The glass on the cover had frosted over, making it opaque. We couldn't see who or what was in it. Let's see what's inside. She grabbed a hold of the lever on the side of the pod. No good. I think it's locked. What? Treatment pod. T. P. Zero. Zero. Stage one. Defrosting complete. Stage two will be complete in ten minutes. Once stage two is complete, the lock will automatically disengage. Right. Cold sleep. What? Those pods can put people into cold sleep. Uses something called CAS to freeze human bodies without destroying their cells. So, Ms. Akane's like an ice cube? I think so. Then we gotta wait till she melts? Yeah. So how about you tell us your story while we wait, Kay? Specifically, why do you know Akane? Yeah. Unless you got your memories back. I remembered. Oh, okay. What do you remember? Everything. Oh. I was born and raised in this facility. It's called Rhizome 9. A rhizome is an underground plant stem that spreads by sending out roots. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? This facility is a little like a rhizome. Supposedly, that's why they call these installations that. The number comes from the facility's number. There are 54 rhizomes on the moon, and this is the ninth one. Well, I suppose the other ones don't really matter to you, do they? In any event, I grew up here with Akane and Zero Senior. I watched them create the AB Project. The AB Project? Yes. Its purpose is to send Phi and Sigma, or their consciousnesses at least, to the past. 
But why them specifically? Back 45 years, right? Yes. So you want us to change history, huh? Go back and keep Radical 6 from getting out and stop the reactors from exploding. That's our mission? Well, not exactly. What do you mean? It's true that the ultimate goal of the project is to keep Radical 6 from spreading to the general population. But even if you do make it back, you won't be able to do much. By now, it's already too late. Too late? What do you mean? Let me begin at the beginning. You might be thinking that Zero Senior and Akane were the ones who created all this. But that's not entirely correct. They only followed the histories they'd already seen. It was the only choice they had. Nothing less than the future of mankind is at stake. We need the two of you to jump through timelines while maintaining your memories. And that is why you had to play the A-B game, and why the chromatic doors were necessary. By forcing multiple options, you could make numerous jumps. We speculated that jumping more would strengthen your memories. The puzzles were also there for a purpose. Some theories hold that a moment of insight when you solve a puzzle strengthens your connection to the fourth dimension. That was the reason for the puzzles. Your infection with Radical Six was also a vital part of our plan. By slowing down your brain's processing speed, we can store your potential. With that energy stored up, we just had to provide a life-or-death situation to launch your consciousness into the fourth dimension. Like a bullet from a slingshot. Wait. Hold on just a minute here. You keep talking about Sigma and Phi. But what about the rest of us? Why did you bring us here? Not simple. In earlier histories, you were all here in Rhizome 9. We needed you here to accurately replicate those histories. Although I suppose that's probably not a good enough explanation for you. In a sense, though, it is the truth. Our primary goal was to replicate history. The rest is... Yes. I suppose I should explain. Yes? Very well. I will try and do so in a way you can understand. First, Alice and Clover. They were abducted 45 years and one month ago, on December 22nd, 2028. The location is Earth, of course. More specifically, Los Angeles, California. Correct? Yes. Yeah. After being kidnapped, your bodies were sent to a facility under Akane's direction. You were placed in treatment pods and immediately put into cold sleep. Four months later, you arrived at this facility. The date you finally arrived was April 14th, 2029. Your trip from Earth to this facility was aboard a spaceship powered by an annihilation engine. Following your arrival, your pods were placed in long-term storage. Does that make sense? Are you telling me we were sleeping in those pods here for 45 years? Yes, in preparation for this day. But why? What do you need us for? And for them to have maintained these bodies as well. You are an Esper, aren't you, Clover? I mean that you are able to access the fourth dimension. Oh shit, then doesn't And this would mean that Snake is potentially long dead. Am I wrong? Or I mean he could be alive but just old, but Ugh. Did Akane tell you? In a manner of speaking, as I've already explained, the purpose of this project is to send Sigma and Phi's consciousnesses to the past. Espers are able to sort of resonate with one another, which can amplify their power. You understand? But then why only bring one? Surely then you would have tried to have brought more of the people from 999. And this is why we brought you here, Clover. No, they were the only ones. 
at least that were there left over from the first experiment because Santa and Akane were already here Junpei was one so I'm gonna assume that's Ten Miyoji. Okay. But then why bring Alice? She's not an Esper. What about me? We needed your help, Alice, to deactivate Dio's bombs. Huh? But I didn't do anything. But you did. In another history, you were able to perform prime decomposition on the 25-digit integer that Dio left behind. Only you could do that sort of thing. So they brought her for the sole purpose of deactivating uh, for, because of Dio. So they foresaw that Dio was going to be a thorn in their side, so it was like, okay, we're going to need her. Because of your feat of mathematics, we were able to determine that Dio had planted the bombs. Then we were able to question him and get the password for the number 31. Finally, we used that information to stop the bomb in this timeline. Without your help, Alice, it would have been reduced to nothing more than so much space dust. This history exists because of your presence. Now, let me explain why we need to tend Miyoji and Quark. Yeah, Quark is the weird one. Ten Miyoji is simple. We needed you for the same reason we needed Clover. Oh my god, it's fucking Junpei. You are able to access the fourth dimension. Almost half a century ago, you used that ability to save a young girl, didn't you? Yeah, I did. We needed you to resonate with Sigma and Phi, so we brought you here. All it took was a messenger. Oh my god. So because they had spent so long with him, that's why they were sort of able to jump after leaving the queue room. So all the other times they jumped, was it after an extended period of being near Tenmyoji and Clover? I'm confused. Why? Yeah, I know. I guess you were worried about leaving me alone, huh? Oh. He kept Fair enough. He couldn't run off to the moon and leave me behind. I'm sorry, Mark. If I hadn't been so stupid and selfish, none of this would have happened to you. But the, the but that's an inconsistency. So they needed Clover as how she was 45 years ago but then Junpei they're just like yeah okay whatever we can bring your old form here it doesn't matter why I never thought this would happen can you ever forgive me because surely even if it was like in 2029 and they're like oh hey we know where Akane is he would have jumped like so what to come with you I thought the moon would be way more interesting than boring old earth what kid would turn that down unless with Alice they would have needed the knowledge she had then about Dio or well just the Miramadons in general didn't want to risk her possibly being retired 45 years later, which fair enough, she is considerably older. And then I guess by bringing her in her current form, they would also sort of be forced to bring Clover because that would cause some red flags if 
they bring her here 45 years later like when she's about like 60 but Alice still looks how she did although that would have played really well into the whole like line of thought they led you down in 999 that Alice was a mummy that was like frozen in cold sleep Uh. We didn't see the messenger after we got on the ship. It was on autopilot. As soon as we got in, we headed straight for the moon. During the trip, Zero told me to keep quiet once we got there. I don't remember anything after we landed. Then there was a bunch of that white smoke, and we passed out. And when I woke up, I was in the AB room. No, Dio. His real name is Left, and he's the leader of a terrorist organization called the Myrmidons. He was ordered to come here. The Myrmidons are under the control of an organization called Free the Soul, which is in turn controlled by a man known as Brother. It was Brother who orchestrated the release of Radical Six into the general population 45 years ago. Do you remember what Phi mentioned earlier? The ultimate purpose of the AB project is to change history and keep Radical Six from being released. If we succeed, that would be bad for Brother and his organization. Our success would prevent them from creating the ideal world they're working toward. That is why Brother sent Left, his trusted lieutenant, to this facility. They needed to stop the AB project. So, Dio was given two tasks. First was to eliminate Akane, the architect of the AB project. Which he succeeded in in multiple histories. The second was to join the AB game and win it. If Dio won the game, the AB project would not be completed, at least not in that timeline. In other words, in that world, the project would have been stopped. If things didn't go as planned, Dio was given a contingency plan. You cannot murder Akane and win the game. Destroy Ryzo 9. Hence, the bombs. Can I ask you something? Perhaps. How did Brother know about the AB project? He was also an expert. What? set brother aside for now though. So brother was either one of the little kids from the original one or he was Snake, Santa, or Junpei. Or Sigma. Because I still have some questions about why Sigma and K look the same. Why it was imperative that K be in armor. I'm... I'm... I have questions. May I proceed? The brother thing would make sense for Santa or Snake but I'm operating under the assumption that Zero Senior is Snake or no Santa so Sn so 
So could it have potentially been that this entire time Snake, Clover's brother, was the leader of the organization she was fighting. And he does have a motive in that he would hate Akane for the situation that her and Santa had put everybody in. Granted, it was to take down Ace and his like pharmaceutical peeps and get revenge for like the year the nine years before or whatever and stop her from getting killed. But still he had put them in a sit or she had put them in a situation that he would be mad about in a situation in which his sister died multiple times in different timelines. Just brainstorming here. No one objected. We were all curious. Excellent. That explains everyone, save two. Luna and myself. Sigma and Phi already know the truth about Luna. I don't believe I should reveal any more, however. I think it would be more appropriate if you could ask Luna yourselves at a later time. Would that be all right with you? Huh? Luna? Yes. That's okay. As for me, as I said before, I was born and raised here. The rest of you were brought to this facility, but I've never left. And that makes me someone close to Zero Senior and Akane. Hey, I've been wondering, who is Zero Senior? You've already met him, Sigma. In another timeline. Yes. Yeah. Well, I saw a hologram. I still don't know who he is. Stage two is complete. TP zero zero unlocking. It looks like it's finished. Shall we open the pot? Yeah, let's do it. All of us gathered around the pod. The glass was still covered with frost, hiding the contents. Okay. Let's get started then. Ready? Phi laid her hand on the lever and looked around at us. I swallowed. Yeah, any time. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. What the fuck? What? I was expecting a Kane. What? Suddenly my head was full of memories from other timelines. I had seen something like this before. The warehouse of floor B. In front of the white door. K was lying in front of me. I grabbed his mask and saw... My own face. I never figured out who he really was. Why was there a man with my face underneath K's armor? It didn't make sense. After I'd seen him, I was injected with Turbocurinine, and that was the end of that. But, wait. If the person in the pod was the same person I'd seen on the floor of the warehouse, who was wearing Kay's armor? You finally noticed. What? Oh my god, Akane is wearing the armor. 
in this timeline at least. Didn't I tell you? You won't be alone. I will be at your side, watching over you. No. Oh my god, you're... Yes. I am. Akane Kurashiki. K. Kurashiki. But then, what was that one timeline? With the... I'm... It's... It's you. No! Because... So every other timeline... So I'm guessing... When they saw that, it's like, okay... This will be the timeline where things will go down. Akane will assume the role of K. Whereas... If... It's a timeline... Where Phi and Luna, no, no, where Phi and Sigma won't be able to do what they need to do, then Akane would sacrifice herself to Dio, and K would be K. I don't, I don't. June, I mean Akane. June, oh my God. Yes, that's correct. I haven't spoken to you in a very long time, Clover. Or you, Junpei. Oh my fucking god! J Junpei? Akane. Long time no see. I'm mad they didn't change his name card thing. I could barely hear what they were saying. My mind was still reeling. Same? It felt like all the air had been knocked out of me, and it was all I could do to not collapse right then and there. When? How long? Do you remember when the two of you saved me in the warehouse? Once you saved me, you went back to your future. Well, your minds did, at least. I carried your bodies to the third AB room, and then took Dio's to the fifth. After that, I went into the first room and borrowed Kay's armor. So by the time you and Clover came out, you'd already... Yes. Wait. That doesn't make any sense. Dio killed you. And then Luna took your body to the sixth room. You couldn't have been in Kay's armor. No, it was me. In this timeline, at least. In this one, I wasn't murdered by Dio. Right. You two saved me. It's just like Schrodinger's cat. Your actions in the future decided who would be inside the armor in the past. What? No, that's nuts! Alright, what about the other history? The one where you weren't saved? What happens then? Who's wearing the armor? That's quite simple. The man in front of you. Him? That's correct. Whenever I'm not in the armor, he is. What about the memory loss? For my part, I confess that I lied. Yeah, I was going to say as much. So she was probably assuming, like, the memories, or rather, like, pretending to be K. I'm, I'm still going to refer to him as K. Because I, I have no reason to doubt that K himself was born here. Like, we got that in his little backstory thing. So, and obviously she would know all of his backstory. So even here she would be able to, like, believably pretend to be him. He, on the other hand, was telling the truth. 
Large doses of soporil can cause memory loss. I gave him a rather large dose. So, who is he? You've never seen him before? No. What about the rest of you? I have no idea who he is. I've never seen him before. Me either. Total stranger. <laughs> hey, come on, what are you guys saying? Right here? Same face? Are you alright, Mr. Sigma? Did you hit your head or something? Oh my god, was my hypothesis from the beginning correct? Huh? What? It didn't make any sense. Why didn't they recognize me? Sigma, your consciousness can jump through time. You can inhabit your body in the past or in the future. Well, what does that mean? Don't you get it? You've jumped to the future. From 45 years ago. Oh, fuck. So we're old man Sigma. That's why K wasn't weirded out. He wouldn't know what he would look like. Because I did mention earlier how we never got to see Sigma's face in game. But then I was like, oh, but wait, no, he's like, you see his face on the cover. And so, yeah, that is Sigma. And even in the flash, but that's the flashback. What was that word? Untrustworthy narrator? Is that the term? I, I don't... Misleading narrator? Not to mention, it's like, you can't trust your own memories of some things. Because that's how the human brain is. Like, it, it'll fill in gaps or it will, like, create false memories for you. If some details are hazy... So obviously his memory, like, oh, when I was abducted, I looked like this. He thought only a couple days had passed. Oh, this is crazy. I looked around frantically. Upon... I ran to it and threw myself down onto my knees. Crawling on all fours, I approached the edge. My heart was hammering inside my chest. A cold sweat trickled down my spine. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, damn it. I struggled to take deep breaths. Then slowly, slowly, I peered into the pond looking for my reflection. Dog, what the fuck? What? No. This can't be real. This face. It's your face, Dr. Sigma Climb. What? Although, to the you that's behind it now, it's your face 45 years from now. Zero. The mastermind of the AB project. Oh shit! And he was the only one that saw that hologram. There was no proof that T 
Timmy OG and Quark had seen it when they went to that room. Oh my god! And I was always operating under the assumption that it was Santa working with Akane so that means there's a very real possibility that brother is Santa I don't know if I ever expressed at any point that I was like zero could be Sigma I feel I did have that sneaking suspicion at one point but I don't think I expressed it in this LP either way this is insane like what no that's not possible that's bullshit no it's the truth Fighting it isn't going to do you any good. Please, Doctor. So then... Yeah, then that means K, or Young Sigma, is a clone, probably through some kind of like... I don't know, the fact that he was born there... Some kind of weird in vitro fertilization thing? Because, I mean, if you want to get to, like, a base, base level, technically your offspring is an imperfect clone of yourself. Taking, like, chromosomes from, you know, the both sides of the parents, but... Yeah, th this... I'm... Um, I'm my brain. I'm not a doctor. You will be <laughs> a pioneer in the field of genetic engineering. You're lying. No, I'm not. You created him. Well, I suppose I should say you are going to create him. Create? His name is Kyle Klein. Kyle Klein. Your clone. Okay, so just flat out clone. All right, genetic engineering, whatnot. All right, fair enough. That is why he looks just like a younger version of yourself. Twenty-three years ago, in the bio lab here in Rhizome Nine, you created Kyle. Well, I suppose for you, that's still in the future. When I said I was born and raised here, I was still pretending to be him. The gravity here is only one-sixth of Earth's. If nothing was done, the reduced gravity would cause his bones to be weaker than normal human ones. So that's why he needed the armor. That's why they're like, oh, the armor is to keep you strong. But you prepared for that. You gave him that armor. Ever since he was born, he's lived inside of it. It kept his muscles and bones strong. He wasn't forced into it for the nonary game. He's been wearing it every day, all his life. But... Why would I... Why would future me create a clone he was to be your spare if something happened to you before the project began he would take your place and Kay did mention that well I guess I guess I call him Kyle now he did mention that I 
I mentioned before that the A-B projects A and B stood for after and before. That isn't all they mean, though. The A also means anima, and the B means body. Anima is another word for the soul or the consciousness. Body is, well, exactly what it says on the tin. The past consciousness will go into the future body, and the future consciousness will go into the past body. They switch. That was the chief goal of the project. Wait, so the future person goes into the past person? Sigma, do you remember the note you found in the garden? You mean this, right? Yes. Oh, I never even... I just looked at that as being like, hmm. Okay, Nevada test site. Yeah, I remember that, but Rhizome 9? What? What's that? Ah, of course. It was you who investigated the garden in this timeline. Yeah. Sigma, take a good look at this. It's an illustration of the time jumps your consciousness is making. It is? A is where everything began. December 25th, 2028. You inhaled the white smoke in your car and lost consciousness. From there, you jumped to B. January 25th, 2074. You woke up in one of the A-B rooms in Rhizome 9. You are in your own body, but it is 67 years old. Your consciousness has jumped 45 years into the future. That does explain some weird things, like <clears throat> why people were especially creeped out or weirded out by him and I believe like old man might have been thrown at him a few times or that couldn't be me like misremembering or filling in my own blanks like creating a false history here but I could have sworn someone called him old at one point he was like what I'm not that old I believe that may explain why you didn't notice the reduced lunar gravity. The body you woke up in was much older. Normally, you would have noticed that your muscles were much weaker. In this case, however, the lower gravity balanced that out. Moving on. If you continue along this line, what happens next? You reach C, which is January 27, 2074. That is today. Whoa. <coughs> Wait, what do you mean? Are you saying it's been two days since we woke up? 36 hours to be exact. Have huh? you already forgotten? You are all infected with radical sex. Oh! So. Oh shit, son! The virus slowed your brain down. So, yes, 36 hours of real time. So the timers on the on on the bracelets might have just been complete bullshit. But to you, it only seemed like 14 hours and 40 minutes. Now comes the important part. 
After this, your consciousness will return to the past. It will re-emerge at point D. April 13, 2029. You will return to your younger body. But that's the same day as the reactor explosions. Yes. That is why I said it will be too late. You will return to the past, but the events you would want to prevent will have already happened. The story does not end there, however. The line continues. After reaching point D, you will eventually return to B. But this time, you won't be jumping through time, or at least not at a rate faster than normal. Your consciousness will spend 45 years inhabiting the same body, until you reach point B. Do you remember when B is, Sigma? January 25th, 2074. According to what you just told us, it's 36 hours ago. Correct. That was when the consciousness of the 22-year-old Sigma jumped into the body of 67-year-old Sigma. So where did the older version of you go when you took his body? Point A, December 25th, 2028, the day all of this started. Yes. His consciousness will go back in time 45 years. For a period of time, he will inhabit your younger body. While your younger consciousness is elsewhere, he will be you in the past. But once that body reaches point D, my 22-year-old consciousness will come back from point C. That's correct. When that happens, the older version of you will be ejected from your younger body and return to your body at C. So it's... rotating? Rotating. I suppose you could put it that way. But look at this illustration closely. What if you take all these lines and untangle them? You get one single line. It may look complicated, but in truth, it's a single straight path. With one exception. The, this line here at point E, right? Exactly. Point E is December 31st, 2028, the day of the total eclipse. The day Radical Six got out of the test facility. Yes. By now, you've likely figured it out on your own. So, they're not there to stop the reactor, they're there to stop Radical Six from leaving. Good lord, this chair is... I might need to get a new one sooner rather than later. The purpose of the AB project was to get the consciousness of the 67-year-old Sigma from point B to point A. If we can do that, we can change what happened 45 years ago. So the old version of me will keep Radical Six from getting out. By jumping into my 22-year-old body on New Year's Eve 2028? Yes. That is why this line could not be interrupted. In order for the 67-year-old version of you to reach point B, we first have to go through point D. In order to get to point D, we must jump from point C. And for point C to happen, 
we had to recreate everything that happened in this facility. That is why we have faithfully retraced history up to this point. So that we might save humankind from destruction and undo the horrors of the last 45 years. Tell me one thing. What is that? You said that point C is January 27th, 2074, which is today. There's going to be a jump, and I'll jump to April 13th, 2029. Yes, that's right. But, look, I'm still old. When is this jump supposed to happen? Very soon. Soon? Yes. And what's going to trigger it? We need potential energy stored to send your consciousness into the fourth dimension. Fortunately, we now have plenty of that. Thanks, ironically, to Radical Six. All that remains is to launch your consciousness. Like a bullet from a slingshot. And how do you propose to do that? Didn't I tell you? A crisis. Uh-oh. A moment balanced between life and death. That can jumpstart your brain. Uh, what do you mean? You haven't figured it out. Is she gonna shoot him? I mean this. Oh no, she held on to the knife! I forgot about that! Dio's knife. No sooner were the words out of my mouth. Oh! <gasps> I thought she was just gonna get Sigma to get him to jump, but. Eh, Fi! I screamed and leapt toward them. Akane was already in motion, the knife diving toward Fi's chest. I was almost there. When I regained consciousness, I was on the floor. There was a dull pain in my chest. I felt for a cut, but something was in the way. It took me a moment to realize that it was Akane's body lying on top of me. I twisted my neck to look around. Nearby was an old tombstone. On it was written a few words in Latin. What you are, I was. What I am, you will be. Holy shit! It was right there all along, the whole thing. What? No, but was that... That was... Was that 22 year... No. That was 67 year old Sigma waking up. Was it? Nobody else was around. Yeah, the what you are, I am, uh, the blah, 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 what you will be, or something like that was just spelling out the whole thing. Was it like that was there for Sigma, but the jump wasn't successful.
surely that's not the end. Or is that like what, what? What is the word I'm looking for here? Not incoherent, not obscure, not it's more on lines of foggy, hazy, ambiguous. There we go. Was that an ambiguous ending to lead into? Zero time dilemma? I don't think they would have done that. But I don't know, like by the time Virtues left, cause 9 and 9 almost felt like its own self-contained thing. But then Virtues Last Reward happened. Well, that was Phi End. Yeah, then Virtues Last Reward happened. And I think that's when they announced there will be a part three, but there's a new destination. Oh. My dude, what? So this is even before, so we did make the jump. Headquarters, April 13th, 2029. I thought this was going to be the final part. Apparently not. See you all next time for some more Let's Play Virtue's Last Reward. I am probably about to record this immediately because, oh man, this story. Yeah, <laughs> goodbye. See you all next time. <laughs>